Today we're learning how you can make your quotes stand out in PowerPoint using simple shapes and images all the way from scratch. Let's start from a blank slide and we're going to right click format background and add a gradient fill. For the gradient fill, we're going for a dark radial fill. Next, we're going to add a circle. So insert shape circle, hold shift while you drag the circle. So you create a perfect one, remove the outline and we're going to give this a yellow color. Now we want to add a picture to the slide and that picture we're going to add to this circle. For that, we're going to make it about the same size as the circle. We're going to right click crop. We're going to select it, picture format, and then crop, crop to shape, and we want to crop to a circle. Of course, you can see that the corner radius is a little bit smaller than the circle, and that for that, we're going to aspect ratio one on one, and then we play around with the settings until we are happy with the result. That way we can paste the picture in the circle and it will look a lot nicer. There we go. Right click format picture and we're going to make the picture black and white. So picture color and make it black and white. This way it pops out nicely against the background. Now we're going to add some text to it. Add a large text box with the quote that you want. Let's make it white and the font Montserrat bold and increase the font size to, let's try 40. Type in a quote, be the change that you wish to see in the world. And let's reduce the font size a little bit so everything matches nicely on the slide at a dot at the end. And we're going to copy this box, Mahatma. Gandhi. For this, we're going to go for a light version and reduce the font size and position it on the right. On the quote, we can make some modifications. So we can highlight some words to make it stand out. And then we're going to add one more thing, which is the quotation marks. For that, let's draw a text box with quotation marks, make it white and Specifically, we're choosing for the font Bebas Neue Bold because that gives quite a nice quotation mark. If we put it to 100, it would be bigger, around 250. Let's send it back. Zoom out a little bit and we're going to position everything nicely in the center of the slide. So you have equal spacing on the left and on the right. And if you want to add some more details, you can always do that by, for example, a circle element where you do no fill and a white outline. And then you can select the circle and put it in the middle around. Right click, format shape. And on the line tab, we can add maybe a little bit of transparency to make it quite subtle. And you can increase it if you want. This gives you a nice first quote slide. Let's create some variants. Right click, duplicate the slide. We're going to remove the circle because maybe we want a different shape. And we're going for a slightly tilted rectangle this, game, this time. Remove outline. And for the color, we're going to give it a nice green color this time. Here you can play with the edges if you want. And let's add a picture. A picture from Warren Buffett. Here we want to have him look at the other side. So we're going to arrange, rotate and flip horizontally. We're going to match it with the bottom of the shape that we have and we can have it overlap here, but on the right side, we want to cut this off. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy the shape, match it together, select the picture first, then select the rectangle, shape format, merge shapes, and we're going to subtract. And this gives a nice clean cut on the side of the picture. Pretty nice effect. Now let's change the quote to one from Warren Buffett, which is Price is what you pay, value is what you get. And the keywords here are price, and we're going to put that in the same color, and value, we also put that in the highlight color. And then we change the name to Warren Buffett. Maybe let's add a little bit of an element here. Could be just a line that we position next to the rectangle. Let's make it white. 
format shape and we're going to add some transparency to it to make it just a little bit of a subtle touch and then drag it to the right. This is a nice second quote that you use. Let's maybe do one more with a rectangle. So we're going to right click duplicate the slide, get rid of the things we don't need anymore. We're going to add a rectangle to the page. I'm going to spread it across the entire page and make it blue. Remove the outline, hold control while moving it to the center. That way you center it from the middle. Send to back and then put the quote in front. We're going to make it a little bit smaller. Change the font to something dark. Have the quotation marks overlap on the slide and then maybe look for a different quote. This time from Nelson Mandela. We're going to position him on the right. Go and then change the quote to a winner is a dreamer who never gives up. And then change the name Nelson Mandela. There we go. And we can add some lines in front. Right click, format shape, make it white, add some transparency to it and position it in front. Add some transitions. Let's do a push transition, increase it to 175 and let's preview. And now you know how to make these nice quote slides in PowerPoint all the way from scratch using simple shapes in PowerPoint. They really bring that extra touch to your presentation and to convey your message to the audience. Thanks a lot for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. And if you want to learn more about PowerPoint, make sure to watch this video on the screen right now.